All right, we're at Finca La Esperanza, um, still in Tarki. Uh, this farm is um, about five years past uh, La Vega and really a, a great model for progress. <clears throat> They're doing a lot of really awesome fermentation stuff here. Um, multiple layers of beds. Glad to be here. Let's look around. So at Las Peranza, they are using a, a very, um, I hate to use the word organic because they're not organic certified and I try to avoid that uh, nomenclature um, for this very reason, but they're using a very um, bio-friendly method of both fertilization um, and combating um, rust and pests, but um, they're definitely in line with kind of nature and treat the land really well, which is uh, really common for really good farmers and it's one of the reasons that we tried to avoid kind of those big expensive labels like organic I'm in fair trade I'm not against them but uh, I'd rather know what people are doing and work with people who care for the land just kind of from a um, internal sense and from an internal motivation so it's really cool and exciting to see and definitely leads to better quality especially in the long term. So we're in here at Esperanza where he does his pulping and he actually had an eco mill which is a mechanical way of removing the mucilage. He had the full setup uh, just a year ago and he wasn't getting the cups that he liked when he had fermentation so he switched back to fermenting and uh, that's something that um, you know eco mills are, are great. They can add a lot of value to a farm but sometimes I worry about losing some of that fermentation. Um, the complexity that, that can add um, can not really be replaced with an eco mill. The thing that I like about fermentation is he has figured out a system of kind of pausing at each step. So he's leaving the cherries for a day without water before pulping. And then after pulping, he has a, a conical device um, that volumetrically measures uh, the pro uh, progress of fermentation based on the moisture loss, um, which correlates pretty well with the fermentation process. And uh, so he leaves it there for 30 to 36 hours. Um, just adds a lot of complexity. There's also a lot of management that needs to happen with that because a lot can go wrong. But um, Esperanza is a, a cool farm. We cupped their coffee yesterday. Um, I think it was uh, like an 88 on average between three of us. Um, we'll see if we bring it in. But uh, overall, coffee cupped really, really well. There's three brothers here. Um, and it's a cool thing to see how short of a time it can take, you know, less than five years to get from, you know, dirt floors, mud walls, to very beautiful house, um, great processing, um, and, uh, and really great coffee.